Hi, this is Chuck from Nerd3D. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at cameras and the basic camera controls in Poser. First of all, when created, every Poser scene comes with a lot of cameras already in it. Most of these predefined cameras are what's called a revolving or orbiting camera. In other words, they revolve around a fixed point in the scene. The other type of camera is a dolly camera, which behaves more like a camera that's mounted on a tripod. They have the same controls, but they work a little bit differently. Now first, let's look at accessing the cameras and choosing one that's already in the scene. Now you can pick the cameras from this drop-down, obviously. You can also pick some predefined cameras from the icons at the top of the camera controls. The left and right-hand cameras and face cam are cameras that you will use quite frequently, so they have dedicated icons on the camera control panel. There is also this central icon, which you can flick through the cameras by scrolling sideways or clicking on the camera, which will allow you to select the cameras in sequence. Now, this key is for animation. If the key is red, the camera is not set up to record animation. If you're going to be animating with the camera, you want to make sure the key is white, We'll cover animation in a different tutorial. The circle is for a special kind of camera called the fly around camera that flies around the scene like a helicopter. Now the rest of the controls on the panel are for actually controlling the cameras. The side view hand controls the cameras forwards and backwards and up and down motions. If you use the, the other hand, the flat hand, it controls the camera side to side and up and down. The four fingers in the center on the floor control the camera backwards and forwards and side to side. Each of these three icons control the camera in a single plane of motion. The scale control, which is the dot on the left here, changes the size of the camera relative to the scene. You'll probably not be using this much, but that's what it's there for. The focal length camera is for setting the focus length of the camera for a more telephoto or wide angle effect. The roll controls the roll side to side of the camera or the Z axis of the camera. The big ball in the middle, that's for steering your camera. You're going to use this more than anything else. On the lower left corner we have the frame button. That will frame the camera around whatever part of the scene is selected. So if I have the leg of the figure selected, clicking the frame button will select the leg. The orbit selected control allows you to pick the body part or object in the scene that you want a revolving camera to orbit around. For example, I'm going to pick the foot and frame it up, then I'm going to turn on orbit selected. Now my orbit control makes the camera orbit around the foot instead of the center of the scene. And you can pick any object or body part in the scene and that becomes the center which your camera will orbit around. If you want the camera to go back to its original orbit, just click it off. There are three sets of controls for your cameras in Poser. The camera panel, which we've just gone through. There's also a second set of camera controls along the top row of, this, of the posing window. These controls duplicate most of the functions available from the camera panel. And also, every camera has its own parameter palette. There's much more advanced controls available on the parameter palette, and we'll discuss those in a different tutorial. There is also a fourth way to control the camera, and that is by using the tools from your tools palette. When you have a camera selected from the parameters palette, any particular camera, hold down shift and instead of selecting and dragging an object, the shift key will make sure that the camera, which is already selected, will remain selected. And you can use the drag controls to position the camera. For example, if I press, press control shift, I can move the camera forwards and backwards in the scene. If I just have shift pressed, it will go sideways. If I press shift alt, I can spin the camera. This gives you a more organic way of controlling the cameras. If you want to add your own camera to the scene, you can do that from the object menu. Click Create Camera. You can either add a revolving or a dolly camera. Now we've been talking about the revolving cameras and how they work. So let's take a look at the dolly camera. Their controls are a little bit different. A dolly camera works more like a camera mounted on an actual tripod. So the revolve controls that 
ordinarily make a camera fly around something are only going to steer the camera on that pivot point that's located right at the bottom of the camera. The in and out and side to side controls, those are going to work the same as they do with your orbiting cameras. They'll just have a slightly different feel because the camera is not mounted on a central pivot point. You may find these cameras easier to control by using the translate tools from your regular tools menu to move them around rather than the tools in the camera controls. This should get you started using the controls for your cameras in Poser. Thanks for watching and have fun using Poser.